I, I couldn't be sure what I had, if I had anything. Well, uh, after a week of scratching, I figured something's up. Get tested. It's always in your head. But it's a different thing to actually walk through the door. I never thought I'd be thinking about STDs or STIs or whatever. But I guess I was wrong. We've all joked with mates about getting tested. I mean, I have enough gags in urban legends to go on a comedy tour with. Uh, but I think um, knowing what to expect, it, it really makes it a lot easier. The, the important thing is to say to everybody, not just people who are thinking about it, but, but everybody who is sexually active should be thinking of coming in for an STI test that you know, people, while they're sexually active, should probably consider having an STI test done about twice a year. Because the vast majority of the time, they won't necessarily have symptoms, which doesn't mean that they're not actually have something and passing it on, or that it might ultimately do them some harm. So the only way to know in most cases is to get tested. You're not going to just know you have something. You're not necessarily going to have any sign of it. And then the second thing I suppose would be to somebody who has made that decision to come in and have a test, that it's a very responsible decision and it's not going to be a big ordeal. It's actually, they're going to see a doctor, they're going to be seen for probably about 20 minutes altogether. Most of that is actually going to be chat and then a small amount they're going to have a blood test and they're going to have a swab. And that's really it, you know, so it's not a big ordeal. Should, everybody should be doing it. Nobody looks on the person coming in with any kind of stigma. In fact, we would think that's a responsible individual coming in to just get checked out. Um, the swab, now, because I know this is one of the things that there are misconceptions about, is that, you know, the length of time this takes, the amount of how far it gets put in and how painful it is. And I'm not going to say that it's not a little bit uncomfortable, but really it, it's only for 30 seconds and it's a really, really narrow, slim, swab and only this part of it has to get put in, the little white bit around the top. And for the vast majority of men who would be coming, that would be it. That would be the only contact that they're going to have. You cannot by any kind of visual means identify who does or doesn't have a sexually transmitted infection. So you have to just say, A, safe sex, you're going to use condoms all the time. B, you're going to get tested about twice a year while you're sexually active the only way to actually really look after yourself and I suppose that the last thing really the big big thing is it's not a cause for panic I mean you're treated quicker than you would be for a sore throat if you have chlamydia you take four tablets in one day and that's it you're done so it's not you're not going to be subjected to any terrible ordeal and you're not going to have something for life you can actually do something about it very very easily and be be fine be fixed, be free to move on again, you know, so I think it's, it's, that's the important thing. It's very easy to manage most of them. End of the day, these things are always much worse in your head, but uh, it, re it really was quick and painless. So, yeah, so it was, it was just two tablets, that was it. But it turns out I was okay in the end. <laughs>